Black and White Network fans, we are back with another video. And we have definitely talked about the rise of Marxism here in this country. There is a reason why we call the Democrat Party in this country the Democrat Socialist Party. Because they have been infiltrated by a bunch of communist Marxist Leninists. These people hate America. And when it came to the rides of 2020, the Democrat Socialist Party, they allowed all this to happen. They did. Kamala Harris bailed out people that were arrested for vandalizing and destroying people's livelihoods. These people hate America. The worst thing that's probably happened to this country in my lifetime is the rise of BLM, Black Lives Marxists. They hate this country. And these far left politicians out there, like your uh, AOCs, your Rashida Tlaibs, your Ilhan Omars, Ayanna Presleys, guess what? I'm willing to bet since tomorrow is actually um, 4th of July, that they will not send out a tweet celebrating this great country. Why? Because they hate this country. They really do despise it, folks. Now, me, I'm a black man in America, and I'm very proud to be an American. I'm proud to be a Texan. I love the great state of Texas. I served this country in the military. This is the best country on the planet. Do I like the direction we're going right now? Absolutely not. I do not. I think that Joe Biden is destroying this country. We definitely need a change. But when it comes down to it at the end of the day, I still believe in this country. Now, I never thought I would actually see, though, a city in Florida, especially. I'm talking about Orlando. Disney World's out there. I've been there one time. I can't believe that they actually came out with a statement. Pretty much slamming the 4th of July. And folks, you're not going to see leftists celebrating the 4th of July because they hate this country. Check this out. Fox News here. City of Orlando says people probably don't want to celebrate July 4th. Backtracks with regret message because they got destroyed for this message, folks. It says here the city of city of Orlando, Florida, has apologized over a statement made while promoting this 4th of July fireworks special that said, quote, can't blame people who don't want to celebrate our nation right now. And this is the full statement that they actually put out. Quote, a lot of people probably don't want to celebrate our nation right now, and we can't blame them. The original statement said, according to WESH TV, quote, when there's so much division, hate and unrest, why on earth would you want to have a party celebrating any of it? But in all seriousness, you know, in your heart, 4th of July five words are amazing, especially when you are standing in 90 degree heat, 100 percent humidity next to 100,000 of your closest friends. The statement continued. Quote in that moment, something takes over and we all become united in an inexplicable bond. Yes, America is in a strife right now, but you know what? We already bought the fireworks, close quote. What a despicable statement here. A despicable statement. I believe that the vast majority of people love America still. It is that it's just these crazy leftists, these social justice warriors that hate America. They are the real dividers of this country. The politicians that we already name. Now. Check this out. This this uh, comment did not go unnoticed here because this is the um, the city of Orlando statement right here that I just read. The Fraternal Order of Police Launch 25 from Orlando slammed them for this. They put out, they said, we do not share the same views as the city of Orlando and find their comments in inflammatory and in poor taste. I completely agree with this. And we knew folks that um all this wokeness that's going on, we knew that the 4th of July was going to be under attack. 
the greatest country the world has ever seen, the greatest nation on the planet. There are leftists that hate this country. They want to bring us back to to uh, Jim Crow. They want segregation. We saw that in the Chaz shop zone. Well, they end up coming out the city of Orlando and they end up apologizing because they got destroyed for this. Now they say this, quote, the city of Orlando sincerely regrets the negative impact our words have had on some in our community. Just some. I believe it was probably a lot of people. The city said, we understand these words offended some of our residents, which was not our intent. We value the freedoms we have in this country and are thankful to the men and women who fought and continue to fight for um, for those. We take pride in celebrating the 4th of July to express our gratitude to those men and women and honor the country we live in. Close quote. The city of Orlando is pathetic. Pathetic. This is just so disgusting. I don't want to see a city come out here. And be so negative on a day when we're all supposed to be unified, folks. I remember a time when this country was very, very unified, very unified. And you know what? I don't want an event like that to happen that unites us like that. I'm talking about 9-11. I remember I remember exactly where I was. In 2001, I was in the military at the time. It took that for everybody to come together. Everybody had American flags. Everybody was united. But now there's a bunch of Marxists in this country right now that want to divide us. Man, it may take something like a 9-11 to unite to unite us again. And I don't want to see that happen. We should love our country. We really, really should. The 4th of July is for everybody. Everybody. Nobody's a slave in this country. Everybody has freedoms. But you do have politicians and mainly on the left that want to try to keep you down and make you think you're a victim. No, you are not. Don't believe anything that these leftists say. This is just a part of their Marxist agenda to destroy this country. And Florida, you guys should be very, very thankful that you guys have a great governor like the great Ron DeSantis. He is definitely making Florida great again. And this man, I do believe, is going to be a future president. And I believe he's going to do great things for this country. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Black and white network supporters, make sure you check out the black and white network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA first, all one word. USA first, all one word. 25% off now. Hey.